perfumer, when we're creating a formula, every ingredient has a purpose. Am I choosing now this sandalwood because it's helping an indigenous population to grow something that's supporting their local community? Yes, I will choose that wood over another one, on top of it being an olfactive bonus. What you'll find in the box is this ceramic, and it actually contains one single molecule called Ambrofix. It's not a composition or a cord or a fragrance, it's one single molecule. We've been able to find a new process, a biochemistry process that creates zero carbon waste in creating Ambrofix from sugarcane instead of clary sage. And part of that is that they've been able to use 100 times less land than they would with the traditional process. Amberfix, for those who aren't familiar, is one of the most widely used ingredients in perfumery. Amberfix is one, our patented specialty molecule created by the Center of Excellence. Two, it's 100% natural origin. And three, it's 100% fully biodegradable. We're sourcing thousands of ingredients here at Chibadon, and we're committed to sourcing them as sustainably as we possibly can. And we're understanding that we need to look at biotechnology or new ways of sourcing, of responsibly and sustainably sourcing to really complete our palette and create the fragrances that we're making. The inspiration behind this fragrance is about nature. Nature keeps me balanced. I'm a cyclist, so I go on my cycling journeys all the time. Beautiful landscapes that kind of give me a lot of peace, a lot of calm, a lot of tranquility. I go to nature to find the balance. So I invite you to feel a feeling of pure contentment and joy with me. I carefully picked the ingredients that I wanted to use in this fragrance to be a true reflection of the joy of life. So I wanted to capture an introduction that was very fresh, sparkling, very unique, a floral scene that is very clean because it was created for a clean fragrance. So I said, why not? Let's create a clean floral that is very feminine and a background that is woody and musky. Also as a perfumer, I feel I'm more responsible and I'm more carefully and consciously um, designing a product that I feel that is safe for me and safe for everybody. You know, I think most perfumers fall in love with perfumery through nature. You smell a beautiful flower. You smell something and you think, what is the magic behind that? What's the miracle? What's the secret? And it's just amazing to think about all of the magic that happens in a plant, simply in these little cells that take light and carbon dioxide and water and creates magic. So in this fragrance, I really wanted to create something really sparkling and fun, easy to wear, but also with something in the back that's really addictive and yummy. So in the top note, I used some of our Italian or pure ingredients. I used mandarin or pure and bergamot or pure for sparkle and introduction. In the heart, I'm using jasmine sandback or pure directly from India. It's beautiful, it's opulent, it's elegant and very feminine. And then in the background, I'm using vanilla upcycle. So that's taking a stream that we've upcycled to turn into a delicious vanilla note, as well as touches of toasted cookie notes to make it so good that you just want to bite it. One of the secrets is I've added a touch of nutmeg. And nutmeg's interesting because it, it's a spicy note, but it also bridges the sparkle of the top note to the creaminess of the back note. So it's a little secret ingredient that I've added. You know, when you create fragrances, you want to do a lot of different things. So you want to play with notes that people love. And so by using these addictive notes, they're definitely plugging into memories. And what's interesting about smell is that it goes from your nose directly into the emotional part of your brain. And that's why oftentimes when you smell something, you're like, what is this? I can't think of what I'm smelling, but it makes me happy. So oftentimes you'll feel the emotion before you remember the memory associated with it. Givadon makes sure that we can source the materials consistently over time, and we make sure that we always get the best quality and that these materials meet all of our quality standards. So for naturals, this means being at the farm. 80% of our materials now, we're at the farm and working with local farmers to make sure that we're, the materials we have are traceable and meet our quality standards. And synthetics, a lot of them we even make ourselves and do some of these transformations ourselves. So we're fundamental in the chemistry as well as in the supply chain. 
So we're always looking at how we can do things better. We always want to make sure we know where our natural is coming from and know, make sure that we can sustain our future forever to make sure we're creating the best and most beautiful fragrances for everyone. Jivanon is preparing for the future in natural perfumery by working on a platform of natural at origin. This means that we are working directly in the country of origin to make sure we have a sustainable supply of these beautiful naturals for us to use in the future. My grandparents had a grapefruit tree in their backyard, and every morning for breakfast, I would literally go outside and pick a grapefruit off the tree and eat it for breakfast. So that's why I came up with these two relatively simple ideas to pair, the patchouli and the grapefruit. The grapefruit is obviously representing the grapefruit tree that I used to get my breakfast from. But the patchouli was to help envision and give the impression of those glowing red desert rocks and the dry heat of Arizona. So the combination made me really feel like I was back spending time in this beautiful scenery. So the base of this fragrance is centered obviously on the patchouli, but it's really a blend of beautiful and complex woods to boost that aura of the, of the patchouli and the glowing feeling that I get when you're in the desert. So I added vetiver. There's a touch of Akigala, which is one of our upcy upcycled ingredients. And these all come together to sort of build and layer the woods to create a glowing impact. This candle is pure happiness. It's the opposite of the tech acceleration. It's really to bring you back to simpler times. I think, you know, this naturality platform is all about getting the best of all things. You know, something that's not just all natural, but that's sustainable, that's biodegradable, that could be upcycled. You know, having something that's good for not only yourself, but also good for the planet. I created this soap. It is 92% biodegradable. And when you think of a biodegradable fragrance, I think most people would think green, earthy, you know, more of those natural simplistic terms. But this is different. It's opulent, it's a white floral, it has this beautiful kind of diffusion and openness. And you can smell all those kind of typical white floral notes, jasmine, gardenia, orange blossom. This fragrance is super cool, modern. The jasmine vintage that I'm using, it's a new co-distillation. And what that means is it's the jasmine oil, but then it's co-distilled together with Hedio to create this brand new ingredient. What's great about this fragrance is that I'm recreating these florals that we smell out in nature but I'm not depleting the natural resources. I'm not going out there and using every jasmine oil, every gardenia oil, every orange blossom oil. I'm coming back and recreating it with safe, clean synthetics that create these beautiful white floral accords within the fragrance. Perfumers were stewards and, and protectors of our natural essential oils, of our resources, of our beautiful olfactive palette. And it's our responsibility when we create to create responsibly and do it in this beautiful, natural way without taking away from nature, really adding to and not taking from. You know, I'm not only a perfumer, but I'm a mom of two boys in the, their future is very important to me. You know, what we're leaving behind, the shape of the planet, the, the air that we breathe, the, the grass that we walk on, the, the oceans that we love to bathe in, we need to keep these healthy and sustainable and available to the next generation.